Good morning, my wonderful pupils. My name is Mrs. Adekoya. Today's topic is common methods of cooking food. These are the objectives. That is, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to explain what is cooking, state the reasons of cooking food, differentiate between the common methods of cooking food, then you should be able to identify the common methods of cooking food. Let's get started. What is cooking? Cooking is the process of preparing food by applying it to food. Or cooking means applying it to food. For example, as you can see on the screen, is the process of applying it to food as you can see it now what are the reasons for cooking food it makes food appetizing and palatable it makes food attractive it makes food eatable for example beans rice yeah now before i move further when you talk about reasons for cooking food is it possible for you to eat raw beans raw rice no it is not possible but with the help of cooking those foods you'll be able to eat them so that is why Cooking makes the food appetizing and palatable. It makes food attractive. It makes food eatable. It makes food tender or soft to eat. It makes food free from germs. It makes food taste better. It makes food easier for digestion and absorption. It helps to preserve food for later use. Now, when you talk about appetizing, that is making you feel hungry, that is the smell of the food or the appearance of the food, when you see it, you feel like eating. That is because of the appearance. So, it makes the food attractive to you. That is appetizing. Then, palatable, having a pleasant or acceptable taste that is when you eat eat the food the taste derived from the food so cooking makes the food palatable it makes the food appetizing so these are the reasons for cooking food as you can see the pic the pictures on the screen with the help of cooking you can see you can see all this, it makes the food appetizing. Can you see with the help of cooking food? Now let's discuss about different methods of cooking food. Baking method is the method of cooking food with dry heat. In an enclosed space for example this is an oven this is a gas cooker we have open we have oven parts so this is an oven is an enclosed space is with the help of the heat that will make the food cook As you can see it on the screen is with the help of the heat because if you want to bake any food you make sure you on your oven you preheat the oven before the food is put inside the oven so is with the help of the hotness of the air in the oven that will cook the food so, baking method is a method of cooking food with dry 
it in an enclosed space. For example, what are the types of food prepared in the oven using baking method for? Like bread, meat pie, biscuits, cake, etc. As you can see it on the screen. Then the next method is frying method. As you can see it, frying method is the method of cooking food in hot vegetable oil. As you can see it, this is frying method. You can use this frying method for preparing food such as meat, fish, yam, potatoes, etc. Now we have different methods, that is we have different types of frying methods. We have deep frying and we have shallow frying. As you can see it on the screen, this method, the first picture is deep frying. Deep frying is when a lot of oil is used, that is when a lot of vegetable oil is used in cooking food. That is deep frying. And the second one is shallow frying. Food is cooked in, in a frying pan with a little amount of oil, as you can see. This, this is shallow frying. We can use this shallow frying for pancake, for fried egg. But when you talk about deep frying, for ching ching, meat, fish, etc so this is deep frying method this is shallow frying method these are the two types of frying methods that we have then the next one is grilling method grilling method is a method of cooking over a direct heat as you can see it this is a griller Can see you can see them you can see look at the pictures on the screen so when you talk about grilling method the food you want to grill you have to make sure you season the food that is you rub the seasoning over all the body of the food for example like the picture you are seeing on the screen like chicken like this chicken, you make sure you put your seasoning in a plate that is your maggi, your salt, add little quantity of vegetable oil. You can also add curry, thyme, then you mix them together. You rub it all over the chicken before you grill. Over a direct heat this is the grilling method so to prepare this as you can see on the screen the grill must be very hot the food is brushed with vegetable oil with the seasoning that I've discussed before rub it all over the body of the food either chicken meat fish etc for you grill and the next method is steam method steam method is a slow and long method of cooking food with liquid that is with water in a covered saucepan so we can use this method to for preparing for example if you have tough cuts of meat or chicken we use this steam method for preparing such food. Steam method is a long and slow method of cooking food with liquid in a covered saucepan. Then the next one is boiling method, steaming method. As you can see them on the screen, I try to put the two together so that you will understand this part. Boiling method. This involves cooking food in boiling water, as you can see it on the screen. While steaming method is a moist method of cooking food. When you talk about moist, it means using water. 
So it's a method of cooking food in boiling water without direct contact of food in the boiling water. As you can see it on the screen. This is moi moi. You know, the water is already inside the pot. But the water does not have direct contact with the food compared to boiling method. When you talk about boiling method, the food has contact the the food has direct contact with the food because you are putting the food, for example, in yam inside water. That is boiling method. Using boiling method to prepare food compared to steaming method. Like now we use leave to wrap the food so that means the food does not have direct contact with the water so this is a steam method this is boiling method i hope you can differentiate between the two now now the next one is roasting method it's a method of cooking food in dry heat by an open fire or overheated charcoal. I know most of us we, we might have been seeing this along the road. You can see roasted plantain and you can see what I'm talking about. This is overheated charcoal. You see this method is roasting method. The food is cooked in dry heat by an open fire or overheated charcoal you can use this roasting method for corn for fish roasted plantain etc as you can see these two this is chicken so children i hope you understand better about common methods of cooking food now my wonderful pupils make sure you attend your quiz on the edmodo platform Please ensure you attend to your quiz on the Edmodo platform. It is very, very important. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.